Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to get, continue working on the paint program um, which can be found in beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 uh, by Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. Now what, have, what we've been currently working on is um, something that I created myself, the options uh, form because in the book we have to do a whole bunch of extra coding to do exactly what they did so I decided to just make a new options form and allow you to change the brush size and the color. So let's go ahead and create a set color method. So public sub set color and then we'll just do by val color as color. So now what we want to do is we want to access paint canvas one. So paint canvas one dot graphics color is going to be equal to color. So if you don't know what paint canvas one is, well on form1.vb we added um, a paint canvas right here. You can see that the name is paint canvas one. So we'll go back into form1.vb and now what we need to do is go into our option form and we need to add the set color method or we need to call it. So we'll come back into the designer for option form. So option form .vb design, and let's just double click on change color. So when they click button color what do we want to do? Well we want to set the color. So we'll call my paint dot set color and then we'll just do color dialog or Let's see, what was the name of that? Uh, color dialog brush. Color dialog brush dot color. But first, we need to get a color from that. So we'll do color dialog brush dot show dialog. So by using show dialog, they will only be able to interact with color dialog brush um, and not anything else until they close out of this or click OK. And now if they click cancel then it's not going to give us a color back. So what we need to do is let's just go ahead and close, close this um, in a try catch statement. So we'll say um, message box dot show ex dot message. So if something happens, um, then we'll just show that. Now, um, I haven't worked a lot with color dialogs, so there may not be an error thrown if they click cancel, because um, it might have a default color set. But for now, we're just going to close this in a try catch statement. So if they click cancel, um, and it sets the color to something that is null, it'll catch that and show the message. So let's go ahead and run this. You can see here we got paint VB and our option form. So let's just go ahead and set the brush size to, let's do large, and now let's change the color. So we'll make it, let's say red, and we'll click OK. And you can see when we start drawing, it gives us a red line. And then we can change the color again to, let's say lime green, and we can draw with that one too. So let's go ahead and close out of these and let's add some stuff to our program um, that will make it a little bit more user friendly. So let's go ahead and come into option form onevb the designer, and let's go ahead and add a label. So we'll say, we'll have our label, and whenever the form one loads, I mean whenever option form loads, we want to set the um, label that label to a the color so let's first go back and change the name of it so we'll say label one and we'll set the name to label color so whenever option form loads we want to say label color dot text is going to be equal to <clears throat> equal to my paint dot paint canvas one dot graphics color dot t 
to string. So there's a lot going on here. We're accessing our My Paint form, and inside of our My Paint form, we have Paint Canvas 1, which is the paint canvas that we're drawing from, uh, drawing on. And Paint Canvas 1 create, contains a variable called Graphics Color. So you can see here under Paint Canvas.vb, we have Graphics Color. And you can see that it's black. And then what we did is we just went ahead and converted that color to a string so it can be shown on the label. So now what we need to do is let's just copy this. And whenever they change the color, we want to update the color. Now we could create a sub called update color, but this I believe this is all we're going to be using um, to update what the color is. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see here that we've got color black. Now we can change the color to blue and click OK. And you can see we've got color blue. Now we can set the brush size to medium and we'll change the color. Oh, never mind. We don't want to change the color. And we can start drawing with blue. We can change the color again uh, to orange and start drawing with orange. And now you can see here um, that whenever we get a color that isn't that doesn't have a name, um, it's going to give us the R ARGB values for that. So this one has a name which is olive, but you can see here that this orange right here doesn't have a name, so it gives us the values for that. Now this can be useful um, if you're using Photoshop along with this and you want to know what the ARGB value is. So we'll go ahead and close out of that and make one more change before we're done with this tutorial. We'll come over here to optionform.vb and let's add um, let's make this set to something at the beginning so what I mean by this is let's find the um, selected index or let's just go ahead instead of doing that in the properties let's do it whenever the form loads so to form one loads we will set combo box size dot selected index is going to be equal to zero so now it won't be blank when we run this and it will always start off at brush size small and we can color with black we can change the color to green and then the size to large and then we can draw with that too so go ahead put this code in if you haven't already and then once you've done that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial